this is what it looks like and sounds like the next day on one of these sites. Concrete's gone hard. Boys are starting to strip it already. Sun's just starting to come up. So here I am, started the day off a little bit later in the day than usual. Had to do some paperwork in the morning. So just started stripping here, working in a counterclockwise direction because that's uh, basically where John started up on the top of the wall taking the one foot panels off. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Nathan McIntosh. I am the owner and operator of Huntsville Concrete Forming, also known as Muskoka Heritage Stonecraft. So we just completed this foundation and I just wanted to show you how we strip it. And there are some clips coming up that show in real time uh, a pin that was difficult to, to get out. So stay tuned.
Okay. Is it way easier that way? So as you can see, I had one very stuck pin. The pins are what hold the ties to the forms. We put a tie in the first slot, third slot, fifth slot, and seventh slot, and then the ninth slot as well when we're doing a nine foot wall. So we're working with a one-to-one -one safety factor. We should be putting a tie at one, two, three, five, seven, nine, um, as far as I know, and then that would uh, relieve some of the pressure on those bottom ties. Uh, you know, but we try and save a little bit of money. I'm in Canada. Uh, I have to order these ties from the, from the States and they take a little bit of time to get and they are fairly expensive. Uh, my other couple of guys have been pouring with Westerns for even longer than I have. And this is the same system they've been using all the way along. So you can just see us working our way around. Uh, I have two guys cleaning uh, and about three guys taking panels off the wall. So uh, we ended up stripping this entire thing in one day, came back the next day to just get everything in cages. It's about 300 feet of wall. Please like and subscribe.